Could you imagine living life without electricity? More than 700 million people worldwide don't have stable, reliable access to power. But this town in Sierra Leone does now, thanks to a smart solar grid. It don't really help me. It don't change my life. Ticanco is a town in Sierra Leone's southern province. It was recently hooked up to a solar mini-grid that provides the townspeople with reliable energy. How they use the lights? Because we pick it up for study panel, they are they use television, freezer, and fan. It don't contribute to the food thing in my life. It don't make how they do my business come on. Because some people in the way they can they drink their cold. Now they the car for come by. For me, this is the solution to electrify all rural areas in the world. Could smart solar grids be the solution to closing energy gaps in rural areas? Could it even provide a model green energy solution for the future? Sadly, it's not that simple. On the African continent, more than half a billion people live without power. In Sierra Leone, only 23% of the population has reliable access to electricity, making it one of the least electrified countries in the world. This community's solar-powered mini-grid was provided by PowerGen. The company is trying to tackle two problems at once. The first is providing the access to electricity this area needs. The second is reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Mohamed Salio Conte is PowerGen's head of project execution in Sierra Leone. This community, five years uh, down the road, it was completely dark. But now, today, we have electricity here. For me, going forward, for the rest of the world, this is a very good and viable option. Mini grids and smaller microgrids are standalone energy networks that provide electricity to remote areas. They function independently from the national grid. Imagine to bring like the national grid to this uh, community. It will cost huge, huge amount of cash to bring them in. But microgrid is the best solution to solve that uh, problem because it's easy and then it's, uh, it can be um, deployed anywhere. PowerGen's mini-grids run on solar energy, a green alternative to fossil fuels. Smart solar panels capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity. The power is either sent directly to the community or used to charge the battery storage system. A smart metering system manages the payment process and tracks the usage data. Customers pay through their phone and receive electricity credits for the amount they transfer. Each grid is maintained by a local who's trained by the company and can respond immediately in an emergency. In Tikanko, that's Christopher Sam King's job. I'm personally happy because I am in charge of the system and I'm also a member of this community. This light has changed the life of people immensely. Prior to this time, uh, we don't have people to come and invest in our community. But with the advent of this light, we have a series of projects that people are coming to invest all because of this light. So, are mini-grids the best solution for remote communities like this one? Here's what Murefro Barasa thinks. He's an expert in energy access and renewables. There's the advantage of connecting these people using microgrids powered by renewable energy technologies because the price of solar has been coming down, the price of uh, battery storage has been coming down, and then also you have smart solutions like uh, mobile money payment uh, platforms. So these are all opportunities that uh, microgrids uh, present uh, in this story of electrification. And of course, also on the question of uh, climate. But what if there's no sun? In case the grid fails, a backup generator that runs on diesel can supplement the energy supply. That means back to fossil fuels. But if all goes well, the solar grid provides the community with green energy. Microgrids are not the be-all, end-all, silver bullet that will solve everything, but they are an integral part of the electrification process. They are seen as uh, small, marginal solutions to a very big problem, uh, because people argue, how are you going to connect 600 million with small microgrids that are of 200, 300 people? There needs to be an understanding that it's not centralized grid versus smart uh, microgrids or versus standalone solutions. 
It's really what's the best solution within each context. So, smart solar grids are just one answer to building a greener future. But for the community in Tikanko, their mini-grid is the reliable and sustainable answer to power.